like a fat mat, get my dick so Bad bitch with a fat ass, she don't give a fuck. Anything touch down for me, she gon' pick it up. Money over hoes, fuck you mean? This what we living for. Kick back like a fat mat, get my dick so Bad bitch with a fat ass, she don't give a fuck. Anything touch down for me, she gon' pick it up. Money over hoes, fuck you mean? This what we living for. Young rich nigga ain't got time for no bitch. Get your ass up in there, better wash them fucking dishes. Need to stay up in the kitchen, make some rich nigga chicken. I can't see how hoes be tripping. All this money that we getting. Keep stupid drip, we up to part. I drop your bitch off after dark. It's hard for me to pick a cart. I'm off the L, so don't you start. Niggas, they envy me, I'm a star. Bank don't roll, it's extra large. Once your back up in the arch, I fuck you to that pussy. Put it, Captain, save a hoe. Always trying to change the hoe. Till I come and take the hoe. I might have to slay the hoe. If she try to play me though, I might underpay the hoe. Then make that hoe go straight away. Kick back like a fat mat. Get my dick sucked. Bad bitch with a fat ass. She don't give a fuck. Anything touch down for me, she gon' pick it up. Money over hoes. Fuck you mean? That's what we living for. Kick back like a fat mat. Get my dick sucked. Bitch with a fat ass, she don't give a fuck. Anything touch down for me, she gon' pick it up. Money over hoes, fuck you mean? That's what we living for. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, hey. I am Duke Deuce. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and this is the 85. Y'all know what's going on. Let's get it. Vibe. I'm Tipsy Ray and we're gonna use some specialty Martel Cordon Bleu to make the Duke for our specialty guest Duke Deuce. We're gonna start with some ice in our shaker and before we use our Martel we're gonna use equal parts lemon and lime juice and a splash of simple syrup. We're also gonna throw in a specialty little orange liqueur called Campari. And then finish up with our Martel. Shake it up. Take a sip of the Duke and keep watching 85. This is Duke Deuce and you know I'm rocking with 85. What the fuck? Here go the remix, Chico. What's that? 
Ain't no holes in the house. 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 Ain't no, ain't no holes in the house. That's why I be going out. That's why I be in my whip. Looking for a thick little chick that can come back to my crib. Cause you heard my buddy Lose. We ain't got no holes staying nowhere near us. They ain't close. Yes, indeed. Ain't no holes in the house. That's what I need. I am trying to find me one. Matter of fact, I need two. If it's you, then you need to come with me. I got a big old house that these bitches need to see. Ooh, we ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this She's house. She's chilling with ain't some no decent ass pussy. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this house. Dedicated no to the house. ladies ain't with no the all right pussy. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes for the ladies with ain't some no decent ass pussy. Ain't no holes in this house. Ain't no holes in this house. No holes in this house. Ain't Dedicated no holes to in the this ladies house. with some okay pussy. That okay pussy you ever had that before yes i had it once and i didn't want it no more because it was decent decent it need to be better i heard the pussy had the wop so i want one that's gonna get wetter uh, wetter i got one too she said she had that wop i asked her what she want to do what she and do i came over to put it in the wop and find out that she had that dop that dry ass pussy i'm like ho stop you wrong i drove this long just to come over here and get this pussy here no way okay you need another day go on your phone delete my number right away right now i like that one this is how you do it when you got to get the sound back right right Woo! This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. That's blue like the color blue. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You don't believe me when I tell you that Blue Chew can take you from making good love to making even gooder love? I'm telling you, go to the website and use my promo code so you can get a free, you know, trial or whatever. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach, so you can be ready whenever the opportunity arises. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts, Blue Chew is the fast, easy way to enhance your performance. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door. No awkwardness and you don't have to leave the house. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code VIBE. That's V-Y-B-E. Just pay $5 in shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E. Chew.com promo code vibe V Y B E and try it free. Hey man, we rocking with 80 vibes. Y'all know what's going on, man. You hear me? Straight up, straight up. What the fuck? Twisting fingers, yeah. Bees working, yeah. Phone twerking, yeah. Bitches fucking, yeah. In traffic, fucking, yeah. We came from nothing, yeah. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Yeah, I raw. Yeah, I kill. Yeah, I get them deals at them California hills. Just because I fell back, that don't mean I fell off. I got big dog status. Hit us, knock your head off. Smoking weed at the school, getting in trouble with the law. Hard headed. Never been no dumb nigga. I wait about that bread, nigga. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. 
seen poppin' meds, nigga Could've been a dead nigga You heard what I said, nigga Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga Head banger, yeah Twisted fingers, yeah Peas working, yeah Phones working, yeah Bitches fucking, yeah In traffic bucking, yeah We came from nothing, yeah Yeah, nigga, yeah Head banger, yeah Twisted fingers, yeah Peas working, yeah Phones working, yeah From nothing, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. What the fuck? Then my ad lib. At first, they wanna help me till I ran up on a deal. Do that nigga got a honey? Do that nigga got a meal? But don't worry about my pockets coming, pick up your whole heel. YRE and diamond chains, give a nigga chill. Back then, she went fuck me, now she suck me soft until I'm still. Stupid boy, don't ask what's popping if he trying to make a deal. But the only thing popping is these motherfucking pills. Vacuum seal, put them on them wheels Get it out the mud, even though I got a deal It is what it is, my nigga, this shit real Ten toes on my feet, ain't no stranger to the field Head banger, yeah, twisted fingers, yeah Peas working, yeah, phones working, yeah Bitches fucking, yeah, in traffic blocking, yeah We came from nothing, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah What the fuck? 80 vibes, ho Ain't it vibes, oh, hey, ain't it vibes, bitch, yeah, ain't it vibes, oh, uh, ain't it vibes, oh, yeah, 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 nigga, yeah. What we doing? What we, what we, what we doing? <laughs> 80 vibes, yeah, we live, huh? 80 vibes, huh? Yeah, bitch, we live, yo. 80 vibes, ho, huh? Bitch, we live, ho, yeah. 80 vibes, ho, huh? Bitch, we live, ho, tell you. Hey, hey, what the fuck? They add little get they pussy with. My add little get they pussy with, I'm telling you. I got vibes on 80 vibe, pussy, straight up. Hey man, what it do? Chico Bean in the building, 80 vibe, man. We got a real, real special guest in the building. Somebody that I consider to be, the, you know, that's carrying the torch of one of the strongest rap legacies in the world, man. Memphis, Tennessee, man. Duke Deuce in the building, man. Make some noise for him. Hey, hey! I gotta say it one time. What the fuck? What the fuck? Man, that's my favorite shit in the world, man. What the, where did that come from? Um, shit, one day, goddamn, I was, bro, I had just started rapping, bro, like, taking it serious, right? And I was here, uh, I was living with my mom at the time and shit. And I just wanted to come up with some shit of my own, some shit that stand out. I ain't want to, I ain't never want to be like nobody else, you right. feel me? So I was just really just practicing, listening to music and, like, this shit came out. This shit was perfect. Man, that shit is perfect. Like, it go with so much. It's like when you fought and a little bit of shit come out. What the fuck? You feel me? Like, I take hey, my look. hat off, niggas be like, what the fuck? It just. <laughs> hey, the first time I said it, it was cooler. Like, it, I used to say it a little, like, calmer. Like, what the fuck? Like that, but then I just started going crazy with the other. Hey, man, that is dope. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't understand those little taglines and those things separate you. You know what I mean? And make people pay attention to the music a little right. more. Because I first got in tune with you. I love Memphis, Tennessee. Outside of where I'm from in Washington, D.C., Memphis, Tennessee is my favorite city because there's so much culture there. I heard you love that Getty Green joint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getty hey, Green, man. Straight listen, up. They're one of my favorite joints. Play. Then sure. all of that. Like, the Memphis scene, me growing up, you know, all of my uncles was in the streets that, you know, raised me. And they was real in tune with the Down South music. And Memphis was one of those things that you know, produce so much music that's classic to me. So you coming from that city, do you feel like you have a certain responsibility to put out quality music, not just put out rap music, but put out timeless music like so many people that's from your city have uh, done before? Facts, because honestly, I feel like I'm really the the, the chosen one to do it. Cause I feel like everybody from the from the M, to be honest, they really went on that sound no more. They was just really going with the yeah, with, with the, the new sound. You know what I'm right. saying? With the new sound. I'm like, bro, that old sound really 
the hardest shit to me, you know what I'm saying? And to the world, obviously, you feel me? Because everybody using their sound. Man, you right, feel me? exactly. I mean, I'm just talking about like that Project Pat when I first heard out here slanging on this blade, praying that I don't get cut by these police making raids, jumping out and checking nuts, nuts cutting bombs down the crumb, babbage weed is in my lungs. lungs. Niggas stick me for a bag, I'ma I'm shoot, shoot him in his ass. ass. It's like Tell you hear that, and it just it, it's paint a visual for you of Memphis. Yeah. And when you go to Memphis, you see why the culture is just so strong there. So what made you get into music? What was your influence coming from a city that's so full of music like to, that? To be honest with you, it was uh, my OG, my pops. He was already doing this shit too. He was always making beats and shit. He used to rap, mm. but producing was his thing though, like his key thing, you know what I'm saying? And he done work with some of the best of them, you know what I'm saying? From Skinny Pimp, Player Fly, Shit, uh, Gangsta Black, you name mm. it, you feel me? Like, legendary Memphis artists, like, every, the whole world, everybody don't know about half these people. Yeah, though, I know, you gotta go down they was, they was really popping, the Atlanta and all them folks, they knew what was going on with them, you feel me? Around that time, so I wanna, I just wanna get that to Pops, you know what I'm saying? He kept me in the studio when I was a baby, and I just took on from this shit, you That's feel what me? it is. Now, I first got hip to you on that, uh, you heard me. You hear Memphis, me? You heard. For real? Yeah, you know That's what I mean. Crazy. Yeah, I've been I've been a fan for a minute. So when I first heard you, it reminded me of that old Memphis sound, just that you know, but still with the new fresh energy. With the new fresh so energy, yeah. When you got popping, when you get your name started getting up, you know, Memphis is known for having an independent movement. You know what I mean? And what made you go with the major? Well, I ain't gonna call it the major, but a major independent in QC. What made you make that decision? Um, I want to just say. QC was really, really, they had a real good look around that time, right? So it was like, why not? Like, I'll sit end up hitting me up. Um, I dropped the song called Whole Lotta. Mm -hmm. I only dropped it as a video, though. It was a video tool. That's how I used to always drop, just drop video. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because that really what gets you on videos, exactly. right? Yeah. So uh, we was doing a, a dance in there called The Drip. Um, shout out to my homeboy, uh, damn, I forgot his damn name, but, um, that motherfucker went crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Straight up. That's your name right now, that hey. motherfucker went crazy. Shout out to my nigga, that Mar motherfucker Andy went Martell. crazy. Nice, Martel, Mar Martel, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But, uh, you know, that motherfucker went crazy. Like, I want to say about probably like three or four days. Man, I was doing stupid numbers and goddamn, I was sitting, hit me up on Instagram, bro. And that's the guy that brought me home to QC. Okay. To so Pete. That's what it is. Now, speaking of dancing, you do a lot of dancing. And that's what a lot of people might not know. That's a strong culture in Memphis, like the gangster walk and yeah. all that good shit. So, what made you like incorporate that to kind of introduce it to a new, you know, generation? I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I just really wanted to show the world where Crunk really came from, mm. straight up to be 100 with you, like, that crunk shit really been going on. It was going on in Memphis, but Memphis didn't have the, Memphis didn't have the, the big industry looking at them, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? So it popped off somewhere else. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to bring that back and show the world, like, this what Memphis had going on when nobody was paying attention. This shit is way crazy. Like, right. this shit is crazy, bro. Right, yeah, and that's, it's like, our city's got a connection because where I'm from, they do a dance called Beat Your Feet. Mm -hmm. And um, they always have a. Oh, shit. What is this? A band aid on them? Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Double sided band aid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, shit. Yo, no, shit, shit to get cut. Sl slap some tape on them, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, get it. What's the tape? Yeah, like where I'm from in D.C., they do a dance called Beat Your Feet, and they always have a competition uh, where they had a gangster walkers from Memphis and the D.C. people do a I dance competition. Yeah. And, um, you know, it just hit me to how strong the culture is there in Memphis as well. That's why I love the city so much. So being as though you are a younger artist out of Memphis, who are some of the people that influence you in the rap game? Well, uh, like I said, Pops, I got to get it to my boy uh, Project Pat for sure. Mm -hmm. Lord Infamous, a must, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? One of the coldest lyricists. They don't give him his credit. That boy can rap. Yeah, and um, Kingpin, Skinny Pimp. Mm -hmm. 
shit, play a fly. Really, pretty much the legendary Memphis artist. I still listen to this shit like it's new. Right. It still sounds like it's new. That's right. the crazy part about Memphis music, like, and yours as well. Like, it's timeless because the music stretches, you know, mm. trends and generations. So, with with you having the the torch now, like, what do you want the new Memphis? mentality to be when people from other places and people around the country and around the world look at Memphis? What do you want them to get from what you do? Well, my, I'm going to just put, my goal is to bring the Gangsta Walking era back. Okay. Like, the, 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 that was the first crunk scene. Like, that's where it all came from. It came from the Gangsta Walking, you know what I'm saying? Throwing your elbows, motherfuckers fighting. You know what I'm saying? All that, you feel me? That was before the game bang. Then the game bang came in with it. You know, so that's my, but I love that era though. Like, I just love that crunk, that gritty shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? The energy, bro. But it was fun. You feel me? Motherfucker was really gangster walking, dancing. They call it dancing, but it was really gangster walking. Came from a gangster background. You feel me? Right. So that's the era that I want to bring back. You feel me? And I love for, you know, I'm sure other people going to gravitate to it, but. A king got to sit by himself. Uh, exactly. That's what it is. You heard this nigga say he want the gangster shit to come back. That's why what the fuck is so important. <laughs> hey, you see hey. niggas walking through the club getting the shit beat out of them. That's all you can say. <laughs> what the fuck? He just hit that nigga with a table. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one of the things, one of the fa my favorite songs off your project is that that you perform here with us today is that sit back like a fat yeah. man, get my dick sucked. Like, you said your pops made that beat. Yeah. How did it feel to, to make a song with your pops that came out so raw like that? That shit always great. You know what I'm saying? You know that pimping shit. With Memphis was big on there too. When it wasn't crong, it was pimping for sure. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, you know, that That's was... That's what you down there. Play me some pimping, man. Yeah, that was for the city for sure. Straight That's up. what it is, man. Now, I know that, you know, with the rap game being the way that it is now and, and you know, the social media and all that shit being prevalent, how do you keep yourself motivated with you know you have to constantly give access to your fans and you got to expose everything pretty much people expect you to give them all of you so how do you keep yourself motivated to continue to put out new material uh me on the other hand i just do other shit like i just be doing stupid shit on instagram but i be just really playing you know what i'm saying like the whole chris brown shit that shit went viral bro like I would call him out of shit, because, bro, everybody always got Chris Brown in my comments. Like, that's all people talking about. When like, you yeah, you better than Chris Brown. You better than Chris Brown. Or Chris Brown to get on your ass. Chris Brown, get, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, okay, let me go ahead and just give these folks something just to, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with them. Even though I would kick his ass, though. That's what I was about to <laughs> ask, nigga. You went on default because you a big nigga. Yeah. I'm just saying, Chris Brown, a skinny ninja built nigga, if he can come out, and do all the flips and shit, then you come as the big nigga. Yeah, I ain't got a flip. I ain't got nah, a flip. Nah, don't flip, but I'm just saying. But I hit him with a somersault, Summer though, just to show them, you that know, you got, I can, that you I, I can do the somersault, man. and I slid with it, too. You don't, don't forget to slide. I slid with that motherfucker, and then I landed that bitch. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Straight up. That nigga put his hand behind his head like he fucking. That's it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like Chris Brown, who, nigga? What are you talking about? I got that's this shit. That's what we love, man. We love that. And that's the type of energy that I enjoy when I watch you. And I get when I watch you is that it's genuine. Yeah. And that's hard to come by these days. Everybody doing what everybody else is doing. And you're a breath of fresh air in regards to putting out shit that's genuine and this you can decipher from everybody else. And right. being on a label like QC that's full of so much talent, like, do you feel that that's the reason why you stay so in pocket? Because you are surrounded by so many pretty much the most popular artist in the game right now. Um, that could be a reason, but I ain't gonna say that. I just, um, the reason why I go crazy is because, goddamn, I feel like I got a point to prove still. Like, I feel like motherfuckers sleeping on the biggest thing that's finna come. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just know I'm the shit. I, I just know it. Like, I know I'm the hardest nigga ever. You feel me? That's the mentality you're supposed to have. Now, Ben, as though you said that, what advice do you give <clears throat> to young artists that's trying to come up. Cause you signed to one of the dopest labels, you got one of the dopest sounds, so you done figured out how to do it. So what would be your advice to the young artists that's out here <clears throat> trying to get themselves on and get on in the game? I tell them to do like me. Find your own way, stay in your own lane. You ain't gotta be like the rest of them, you know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, cause motherfuckers around you ain't gonna believe in you in the beginning. 
You're going to have to prove yourself. You feel me? So once you work, work, working going to prove yourself. Working going to help you prove yourself. So once you do that, motherfucker going to start looking at your shit like, oh, okay, he got something going. So boom, in your mind, you're going to get more confident in yourself because you're going to know motherfuckers fucking with you. Just keep going. Don't stop. Keep hustling. Just like P say. Keep hustling. Keep going. Just like I told me. You feel me? Right. Straight Keep up. hustling. You know, stay consistent. Don't be, you know, taken back by the fails that you're going to fail. Because you're going to fail a lot before you win. But it I'll only takes one yes. I said, told me, he was like, bro, I want you to drop back to back on the ass. Then when he first, when I first started coming around him, you got to give to him like that. Because he was like, that's how we came in. We was dropping back to back. They couldn't, they couldn't help but to eat our shit up. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So that's the mode. You got to just keep going. Keep hustling. You know what I mean? So being as though you a younger artist in the game, man, I, always, I like to ask this question. Who is some of the people you want to collaborate with in the industry? You know, anybody that you want to collaborate with and do some music with. Um, the fact that I'm a crunk artist, it'll sound like a little off, but I got to get to Young Thug, bro. Like, he really is one of my favorite artists out of Atlanta. Right, mine too. I he, love He Thug. different, you feel right. me? He don't follow nobody. He he on his own lane, just like I'm in my own lane. You feel me? And dude just crazy with it. Hey man, let's make that happen. I love to hear Thug Deuce record, man. That'd be cold. Y'all gotta dance on it though. Yeah, uh-huh. the battle young thug. Thug man. don't damn hey, dance. Hey man, nigga, dance. If you get on the song with you, nigga, you hit that. What the fuck? You can make a nigga do anything with hey, that one. I be on some melodic shit too. Yeah, you sleep. perform one of those songs yeah. today. Tell, let's tell us about that, like separating yourself from what people come to know you for, because that can become difficult. Once people get an idea of what you are, they want you to be that all the time. Right. So tell us about the song that you performed today where you just showing the other side of your artistry. I mean, that shit there was real. Like, I was really telling a real story. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it just kind of came up on something. That, when I heard that beat, it just like, Made me just want to like get them for something different. You feel me? Like, okay, I went through this not that long ago, so it's like, bro, get them, talk about it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I've been doing melodic shit anyway. If you go and listen to the, the tape, it's mm-hmm. more other shit on there, what I'm saying. So, mm-hmm. but that one right there was just that big dog motherfucker was really personal. Like, okay, straight up. That's what it is, man. Now, I want to know what you use for motivation to make that type of music man like what you what do you use for motivation to make that type of music because that crunk shit is live man it's it get you know like they say on the movie gets the people going you know what i'm saying you talking about the crunk shit period right now i just no i'm talking about just the way you make music because you so amped up and you know what i mean like that can be difficult to maintain what motivates you to be as turned up as you are um pretty much just really trying to man put the city on and um, just to break this sleeping shit, like, motherfucker, I feel like motherfucker was sleeping on me, so that made me more aggressive in my music, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But I feel like I was a nigga that was being slept on all my life, to be on, totally 100 with you, like, I feel like I've been slept on all my life, so that shit right there just made a nigga more aggressive with everything I do. Everything I do, I gotta show more. I feel, I'm thinking, like, I gotta show a motherfucker not to play with me, you feel right. me? That's what it is, man, look. We appreciate you for coming through 85, man. This is an honor. Like I said, I'm one of the biggest fans that you got. I've been on it for a minute, and it's good to see you continuously progressing. So what do you got coming next? I know you just put out that Duke Nukem freestyle, right. which is dope. But uh, tell the people what you got coming next and where they can find it at. Um, well, pretty much I'm dropping back to back. I'm going crazy on y'all ass. So y'all can be expecting it. Jump with me and Fujiano spin. Y'all can be expecting another jump coming. It's uh, back to back because I'm coming back to back. Left, right, oh my God. I got I to gotta let y'all hear that motherfucker before I leave. Yeah, please. Straight man, because up. the way you just explained it, I want to hear it right now. It's, y'all oh going to be like, oh my God. You need to like, add that to the joint. Brought. What the fuck? And the nigga no. come behind you. Oh my God. <laughs> That'll be the dope back to back right there. Yeah, straight That's up. That's what it is. So, man, where can they follow you at? Where can they keep up with you at and all that good stuff? Man, yeah, follow me on Duke Deuce everywhere. Everywhere. Duke Deuce, man. Y'all make some noise for the one and only. Method, what the man. Fuck? You heard what he said. Hey, hey. Duke this Duke motherfucking shit up off of me. 85. <laughs>
mighty vibes. I'm big dog and you know that what I said. I'm so thankful to be here, man. I'm so blessed. I, I come, but I know niggas want me dead. Ain't no killer, but don't push me to the edge. Big ol' engine, big ol' house, they don't mean shit. Cause you never know how long this shit gon' last. Gotta stay strong and keep my feet up on it. Yeah. Wanna give up, then I just think about my past. Uh -huh. What you want from a nigga? Couple years back on God, they didn't even want from a nigga. Middle of them days, sometimes I couldn't even long from a nigga. Days I say fuck them, I can't feel them. They been lost me, no, I'm not sorry. Triple and we mobbing, no, we not stopping. Thinking she gon' lock me, no, bitch, give me toppy. Screaming that she love me, say that I'm her poppy. Usually I just drink up on the air, air. Today I'm a brown one in the air, air. This year my career put us through hell. Dodging bullets, you can hear these shit. Every day I swear it's a new problem One of these niggas gon' get me locked up I knew it was Satan right when I met her But soldiers adapting to any weather I'm big dog and you know that what I said I'm so thankful to be here, man, I'm so blessed A icon, but I know niggas want me dead Ain't no killer, but don't push me to the edge Big ol' engine, big ol' house, you know me shit Cause you never know how long this shit gon' last Gotta stay strong and keep my feet up on it, neck Wanna give up, then I just think about my past Oh, I ain't doing nothing wrong Lord knows, Lord knows I'ma go Shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. <clears throat> you can follow me on IG at Duke Deuce, Facebook at Duke Deuce for the old folk, um, Twitter, Duke Deuce, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> and YouTube, Duke Deuce. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir.